Hi everybody, welcome back to Steam TV. Um, today we're going to be covering um, some problems for linear algebra, okay, um, on the mathematics side. And so uh, we're going to look at how to solve, um, how to get a coefficient matrix, how to get a cofactor matrix from that, um, and also finding the adjoint and the inverse of matrix, okay. Um, so essentially, to find this cofactor matrix, all right, the best way, the best method I like to use to describe it, and obviously this is the generalized formula, um, but you're not going to memorize this formula on an exam, let's be honest. Um, I never memorized it. You're never going to memorize it. What you're going to remember, though, is a pattern, okay? So that's how most, you know, of our minds work. You remember things by patterns, by practice, obviously, and examples, and practice is doing something repetitively so that, you know, you get the pattern. So, basically, how do we derive this? Okay, because you're going to have to be able to derive that. Um, but, I mean, okay, you can memorize it if you have one of them photographic memories, but not me. Um, the way that I do this, my method, and the way that it's taught is to find every entry. Okay, the best thing to do is to find an intersection on the matrix. And what I mean by that is... And first of all, this is a three by three. I'm going to have a result of a three by three for the cofactor. Okay, cofactor is going to give me a three by three. But I want to find entry A. I'm going to intersect my rows and my columns for A using this trick. Okay, and when I say intersect, I don't want to confuse you. Just watch what I do. I'm going to draw simply a line, uh, a line across my rows, and then another line and down my columns. Okay. And now my goal is to get entry A, which is my intersection, right? Both my row and column intersect at A, okay? When I do that, I cross out my row and my column. Well, look at that. What am I left with? Does that make sense? So whatever I'm left over with is simply going to be my um, smaller matrix, my 4 by 4 or my two by two, sorry, four entries total. Um, now I want to find entry B, okay? Find B, I do the same thing, cross them out. Sorry, this is a chisel tip highlighter, so it likes to do that with the chisel. Um, I'm left with D, F, G, and I. See that? So I basically, I go through every single um, entry. You know, I want H, A, D, C, F, right there, okay? Um, and I'm basically going to go through every entry. The only other thing after I do that is to remember that these entries are negative, okay? Just those four. Everything else is positive. Those four entries are negative, right? The right, left, top, and bottom centers, okay? Just the easy way to remember it is it's the center of the perimeter terms, okay? You go around the perimeter and the center of each of them, okay? Basically, all I got to do now is simply solve this and this is some just easy math it's you know again i'm going to be stuck with a three by three matrix okay and for this entry for entry entry a would be um it's going to be e times i minus h times f okay um same for this one and this one you know and so on and so forth so basically that's how i solve that i get my number um, and we're all good. We're about to have a good day. That's the easiest way to do cofactor, easiest way to remember it, okay? So that's how you do cofactor, okay? Um, and as quick as possible, so you're not sitting there scratching your head, banging your head on the desk, doing homework. Um, that will work every time. Now, the adjoint, okay? To find the adjoint, I'm going to use a problem here. Um, the adjoint is the transpose of the previous matrix I just found, right? And, oh, sorry, this is an example I was using in my prep video. Um, but basically, this is what the adjoint, let's say this is A, okay? Um, I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And I know I'm inconsistent with the capitals and all that. So the adjoint of um, A, and I want to 
want to kind of capture these in the screen. I flip my rows and my columns. My rows become my columns. My columns become my rows. Okay, so A, A, B, C comes over here. Okay, D, E, F becomes my row or my column. And then G, H, I will go over here. Okay, so that's simply that. My rows become my columns, my columns become my rows. That's how you do an Android of a matrix. Now, let's just move to the inverse. For the inverse, I got a series of steps here. We first find the cofactor matrix, which we already did. Then we compute the adjoint, which we also already did. And then we're gonna take the um, adjoint matrix and we're gonna divide it by its determinant. Okay, so really, we already did half of the battle. We're more than half of the battle there. We got our adjoint. We're going to bring that down here. And all we really got to do now is multiply it, right, by its um, determinant of the coefficient matrix. Okay. So here we go. Um, basically, <coughs> okay. So for an example, here we go. <clears throat> I basically just came up with this <clears throat> one example. All right. And so let matrix A equal what we have above. It's a three by three. Okay. Um, the first thing we want to do, right, is compute the determinant. All right. Let's just say we already have the adjoint of this matrix. Okay. We computed it. I explained how to find the adjoint of it. We'll, we'll bring that up later on. But right now, we have, I'm trying to make these videos as concise as possible and quick um, for time's sake and just so you can get your homework done quick, okay? Because nobody likes to sit there and be struggling for hours at a time or multiple, you know, whatever, days at a time trying to figure out how to solve these problems before an exam. So um, we're first going to compute the determinant, okay? That was our first step. Or, I'm sorry, it was a cofactor matrix adjoint. And then we're going to take the determinant and multiply it by the adjoint, but it's the inverse of the determinant. We'll get there. So if you remember the old classic game Pac-Man, right? You have, you know, your your court and, you know, whatever. But the thing is chasing you, the enemy, and you're going out this way, right? Once you hit the end of that court, you loop back and you come out on this side. Am I right? So with that principle, it's similar. It's very, very similar with the adjoint. Um, or I mean the determinant. To compute the determinant. We're going to take, we're going to first go from right to left. And when I go from right to left, um, going downwards this way, I'm going to have positive values. When I go up the matrix, I'm going to have the negative values. And what I mean is exactly this. To compute my determinant, I'm going to take 2 times 3 times 2. Okay? So that pattern is this. 2 times 3 times 2. I'm going that direction. I'm going to remain positive. Not plus or minus, positive. Okay? Um... All right, so now the next one I'm going to use is negative 1 times 9. Oop. I guess it would help if I change my pen, wouldn't it? Negative 1 times 9. But now here's where that Pac-Man effect comes in, okay? I hit the end of the court. I need three entries. I'm going to come up over here. Whoops, it easies. I'm going to come up over here, and I'm going to tag that 5 in. So that 5 becomes part of this. And so again, I'm going in this direction. I run out of space. I come out over here. So what do you think is going to happen with my 10 and 9? I'm going to come out, come through my 10 and 9, and then I'm going to come and grab my 6. Right? Does that make sense? So basically, the principle is to... use that to kind of go through this a little quicker and remember it in an easier way, okay?
So let me just clear this out. Wait one second. The next step. Okay, so for this next step, um, I'm basically, now I'm going to go up this direction. Remember, everything becomes negative. We're subtracting them out. Um, so I'm going to take everything I have here, right, and I'm going to subtract. Now I'm going to go 6, 3, and 5, okay? So 6 times 3 times 5, right, minus my next value is going to be, I, I could do 9, 2, right, and 2, or I could do negative 1, 10, and 2 first, whatever I want to do. So 9, 9, and 2, okay? Um, and then finally, what's left over is my minus 1, 10, and 2. Okay, for time's sake, I'm not going to run, I'll, actually, I'll just run this computation, give me one second. Okay, so after running those numbers, I get an answer of 275. Okay, so to find the inverse of A, okay, I'm going to take my determinant and multiply it by A adjoint, okay, which essentially is... 1 over, in this case, 1 over 275 times that adjoint matrix that I would have got above, um, taking the transpose of the cofactor matrix. And we explained how to find the cofactor matrix. So um, anyway, I hope this was a video that helped, around 10 minutes of just a quick explanation on how to find those three solutions. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, ask in the comments if you have any questions, um, and I'd be happy to answer. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.